Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! My name is Dracon the Will and Fuzzbottom Jr. and these are some of my patrons! Theo Vellum, Snow Hazard, and a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. Alright, I have tried like five times so far to get this episode started because I have this hang up over how useless the thumbs down feature at YouTube is. So, let's just get started. So, when we last left off, we were exploring this here maid school at Manorina. Or maybe the Manorina is maid school. Or something like that. Words! They are throwing me off. Because pineapples tend to dance around in the sunset. That's what happens when you try to start an episode five times. You're just ready to move on. So let's move on. To the other town, the town we were at before, because apparently, Manorina does not have an item shop. And I kind of need items, especially since I got a new party member on my team. Her name is Henri, and she is the Princess of Guardiana. Apparently, instead of going back to Guardiana and leading her people, she decided to just fight alongside us. Also, this is not the item shop. It has an item shop sign. Okay, this will be the item shop then. Why doesn't the other sign have a sword on it? Anyway, Henri is a mage. Naturally, she was hanging out in a mage school, so of course she would be a mage. That's actually going to be pretty dang helpful. Also, in the last episode, we were wandering around as a chicken. It was kind of fun. At least until it wasn't. People started looking at me like I was food. Which... Okay, I guess I can understand that because, you know, I like to eat chicken too. But, you know... I don't like the idea of being food. But that should be pretty obvious by now. You know what, though? You only live once. We Please don't eat me. Okay, I'm done. Uh, as for what we're actually going to be doing today, we have learned that down here is the Pool of the Ancients. And no, I don't mean this random puddle square-shaped puddle right here. Is there anything suspicious about this? Nope, nothing is unusual. I'm talking about the pool back here. The Pool of the Ancients, which may or may not have a connection with the Gate of the Ancients, which we are making an effort to keep closed. Now, in order to access the Pool of the Ancients, we need to head down these stairs into the Cavern of Darkness, where we will locate the Orb of Light. Because, you know, that is totally where you would store an orb of light in a cave of darkness. Behold the dreaded cavern of darkness. You must defeat the monsters to gain the orb. Are you sure they're uh, not going to be uh, the orb? Are you sure it's not going to be like sitting inside a treasure chest somewhere? Oh, never mind. I think I know where it might be. Alright, well, let's get started. Oh boy. Right off the bat, we're dealing with this sort of situation. Where's my mages? Actually, let's find out what Henri is about. Alright, so she's got Blaze. It's only the level 1 Blaze, so that's kind of unfortunate, but hey, nice to have another person on my team. It's kind of interesting that I still have room for mirror people. Would have thought I'd hit my cap by now. Alright, so we got these guys sitting right here, and previous, previous experience with those guys tells me that they are kind of strong in the physical attacking department. So what I'm going to do to start off is hang out back here 
and get my mages into into position to possibly attack them. No, oh, speaking of mages getting into position, that's not a good thing. Actually, no, not you, Henri. You, Tao. How about you go ahead and just hang out right here? Or here? The point is, we want these zombies to kind of come in and say hello so that Tao can use her AoE spell and cause a good chunk of damage right at the start. Oh boy, I hope not all of these enemies are going to be coming charging at me. It might just be like the last battle where they kind of just got into position. And unfortunately, those zombies kind of know better. They are not making the effort to get in to where I can get an AoE spell. However, there is that zombie right here that kind of got a little bit closer. If he could walk to right here, that would be cool. So, I'll see if he does that. Uh, unfortunately, no. That is not a thing that is happening. Alright, well, in that case, I guess I just need to get one of my mages in there. Maybe Henri? She needs some experience so that she can get her AoE spell. So I guess she can go ahead and get in the first attack here. Alright, how do I go about doing this? I guess you can stand there. We can get either one of these guys from here. I'll go for the guy at the angle, though. Huh. In battle, Henri is basically a recolored Tau. So... The first recolor in the game... And it's one of our characters. It's kind of funny, that. Alright, let's see here. I know we're kind of sitting... Ducks... Something like that. Point is... She's sitting right here where she can get hit by two different enemies. Hopefully, we can kill one of them. I think she's capable. Yeah, th this'll do it. And there we go. One down. So if she takes damage, it'll only be from the one zombie. Assuming that moving to her current position does not aggro anything over there. gonna try to take this as cautiously as possible. I don't want it to be like a few battles back where I kind of overwhelmed myself and hey apparently you can walk across these. Well shoot! Wish I had known that sooner. Alright, who do I want to get in there? Hans? Nah. Got another character that I'd like to get in for an attack. Not you. You will do me. Can you obtain treasure while you're wandering around? Or is that something that only Dre can do? Okay, you got your strong weapon, right? Yeah, I think you do. Can you cause more than one damage, please? No. Man, those zombies are strong th things. Well, hey, got that level up I was looking for. So, that's cool. And looks like Tao gets in another attack on against these guys. Knowing that this game has enemies with super high defense, I'm definitely going to want to save my mages primarily for them. Alright, how about you, Henri? Can you get in the finishing blue? Oh, how do I handle this situation over here? If I try to attack the mage, that archer over there... Ah, what the heck, Ken's got a ton of HP. What weapon you got? Nope, not the right weapon. Let's give you the spear. And I think the mage would be a bigger threat. 
because of AOE attacks. Also, I just realized we're in a new battle background. Cool. Alright, in that case, let's see here. This'll be good experience. I'm not sure entirely whether I like how... Killing an enemy earns more experience than not killing an enemy. I mean, the extra boost in experience is really nice, but at the same time, that means... The characters who are able to deal more damage and more likely kill enemies are going to be gaining more- Hey, that thing didn't use a magic attack! Well, this battle's going in my favor. Alright, I guess it's time for people to kind of start moving in. I'm gonna try to want to grab those treasures. Well... No, I was told that grabbing the treasures is not necessary during this fight, and I can grab them after the fight is over. So, let's focus on just getting in there to cause some uh, damage, making forward progress in this fight. You, uh, you took a little bit of damage there, but you're going to be taking even more damage as we go along. Especially once we get around to these guys. What is this, by the way? A skeleton! 15 hit points. Oh, it's another undead enemy. Look at that defense! In, in case you're wondering, most enemies at this point would have half that defense. So they're on the same defenses level as zombies. Well, in that case, I'm gonna wanna save my MP. For those guys, which shouldn't be a problem. Two more spells, and I've got that z last zombie, z zombie down. Uh, this is not a position I want to get myself into right yet. Although uh, we can, at the very least, sit tight right here. Watch it turn out that the treasures that I'm waiting to get are actually going to be really useful for this fight, that is. All right, May, are you strong enough to take down that mage? Yep. Okay, don't have to worry about AoE spells for the time being. Just need to get in there and deal with those archers. Now those mages I don't look forward to. Although, I would have a pretty good AoE spell by the time I get to them, as long as they stay put. That archer just sat there and did nothing. They are apparently very much unwilling to cross that bridge. So you know what? They don't have to. I won't make them. I don't know why I didn't have Tau attack. Clearly, I was not paying attention to which character I was using. Henri... Hmm... You know what, Henri? You go ahead and get in the other attack against that zombie. We are gonna wanna try to save Tao's MP for those AoE attacks. Alright. Let's snipe the sniper. With a spear! So I guess that makes Ken a sniper. And I guess we can get in close now. Wait. 
that was a bad idea. Just realize that may have been a bad idea. Can I undo? I can't undo. That is unfortunate. Next question. Am I going to get a flying character? Don't actually answer that, by the way. Uh, you sit tight, me. Alright, good. Henri's turn came up in a relative good time frame. And this will allow us to take care of this zombie. And then somebody can move on and slash those archers. Ah, that is exactly what I wanted to happen. Not gonna get that AoE spell until level 5 though. Got a ton of MP from that level up though, by the way. So, that's cool. I wonder how close I'm going to have to get to those bats before they start attacking. Gong, you're still kind of low level there. Do some healing. I don't know at what point I'll have the opportunity to replace Gong, but as long as I still have him, I'm going to try to keep him useful. Alright. Uh, I can go ahead and do a long-range attack, sure. I have a feeling that as this adventure goes on, Ken is going to be by far my strongest character. Which, that's alright. I don't mind having an OP character. Alright, so that guy is finally attacking because somebody's in range. Not much damage to worry about, though. Alright, here we are. Ken and Luke. They are going to be among my strongest. Ooh, look at that much how Look how much damage that was. Eh, you're not getting any closer. So we have this situation where we have a blockade across a bridge again. That is kind of unfortunate. Could somebody pl please move out of the way? At, th at this point, those bats should be relatively weak, so... Okay, you. Back up a bit. Somewhere, anywhere... I think the bats could be taken down by my weaker characters. Oh ho! So your arrows do have the same limitation as mine. You know what? You're down to just two hit points. Lo, you kill him. Whack. My gosh, do those things just have low defense? Or are my weapons just that good? Alright. Chris, you're kind of low level and, well, I don't want to aggro the bats with you, so how about you just hang tight right here? I don't know at what point they get aggroed. Gort? You've got a great defense. How about you head in there? Ooh, even better, I'll head in there. Yeah, I'm not one of my weaker characters, but... When it comes to life and death, I'm the only character that matters. You know what? Let's just all get in on the action. Hmm... Yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill this one. I mean, there's plenty of bats to go around.
plus all those bats are about to get their turn and the less of them there are the less worried I'll be about taking too much damage mm, then again I might not really have much to worry about to begin with uh, I've had a feeling I didn't want him moving there oh we got this sort of situation huh uh, can you just kind of hang back a little. Not all the way. Uh-oh. Those mages are getting out of formation. That is slightly concerning. And there's another double attack. I don't know what triggers double attacks, like what the odds are or anything like that. It's just this rare thing that happens. Nah, no, let somebody else get in there. Like you, Tao. You're eventually gonna need to make your way to those mages up there. Assuming they don't all come down here first. Alright, who do I want to go after these bats next? Well, they're all at full health right now, so whoever's turn... Yeah, Gort, go ahead and kind of... Uh, Attack this one, maybe. Well, I don't. I'm not sure if I want to attack this one because that'll block block someone from getting to it. So yeah, go ahead and attack this one. Weaken it for somebody else, eventually. Eventually, they'll get to it. That is. I know you are not going to be able to kill this low. But you're only at level 3. And you're my best healer right now. At level 3. That is... Not great. Alright, Hans. Go ahead and weaken another one of these things for somebody. Once again, I'm kind of overpowered a bit, and kind of just playing them around with these guys. Huh. However, I think Hans could definitely use a bit more experience. Are you going to cause 9 damage against this thing? Yes. You cause 9 damage. Can we get a level up? I don't remember when my last level up with myself was. Uh, you hang tight. Apparently these enemies know that my main character is the one that needs to be taken down in order for there to be a game over. Cause that bat just totally ignored my healer. Not that these guys are a threat. Once again, I'm kinda tempted to just kinda sorta skip ahead a little. Alright, well, double attack and both miss. I don't know what the odds of that are. If one attack is, misses, does that guarantee the other attack miss? Or maybe it's like... I don't know. That was kind of dumb. By the way, Henri killed one of the bats. I am going to kind of skip through the risk through these bats, because they, they really aren't a threat. Look at this. My healers are killing them. Well, except for Lou, because he missed. Twice. Alright, that takes care of all the bats. Once again, one of my healers kill it off. That healer being Chris. Alright, how am I going to want to do this situation? Where? Do, how close do I have to get to these guys for them to get aggroed? Apparently, I'm going to have to get pretty dang close. So... 
everybody just kind of move up here. I was really hoping Gong would be able to kill one of those bats, but I forgot to weaken it first. Alright. Here we go, Tao. This is your moment. So, sit on right here. No, actually, sit on right here. You got range with this bell, right? Yeah. This is gonna be nice. And this is totally why I saved your MP. It doesn't kill him, but my gosh, that definitely puts a dent in their defense. And got you another level up. That might be right in time if you get a defensive boost. Nope, no defensive boost. You're probably going to die? Boy, these mages are not doing anything to me. Why is that? They're kind of just letting me have this fight. Alright, who do I want to get in there to kill these guys? Because if they're not doing anything... I can kind of just pick and choose who my heroes are going to be. How about you, Gort? Actually, Henri. Go ahead and kill one of these guys for me. You got just enough MP to kill one more of them. And we do need you to have an AoE spell like Tau. I'm actually going to finish this whole fight in this video. Cool! This is going exceedingly well. No, seriously, they just, just aren't doing anything. I don't get it. But I, I'm not complaining. How about... How about you, Gong? You wanna get in there and get in a good hit? I mean, I guess Gort kinda needs to as well. Well, Gort, you get in position to eventually get that last one up top. But I'm definitely going to have Gong get the finishing blow on that next mage. And so he has. <sighs> After these mages, I'm still going to have to deal with that skeleton back there. And I already know that he's weak to magic. If I had remembered that sooner, I would have saved Henri's last spell for that particular phase. Covenant kind of an oops there. Alright, Gong. You're up. Gort. Gort is up. It's a different G name. And there we go. And that just leaves the skeleton. Now, just in case somebody was wrong and I actually am kicked out of the cave before I get a chance to grab the treasures, I'm probably going to save right now. That was not much of a level up, by the way. And I am disappoint. Alright, so quit the game. Oh, I'm going to have to reload it, aren't I? Because otherwise, I have to wait around a while before this leads back to the title screen. There is no back to the title screen button. By the way, while it is cool that I can get a Sega Genesis collection of games sitting right here, the unfortunate thing is not many games actually interest me for this. I mean, there's like... Landstalker? And that's about it. It's too bad. I'd like to fill that case with a whole lot of games, but they're just not that interesting to me. I suppose I could check them out at some point, though. Alright, our goal now is to take care of this thing. Who do I want to do that, though? Uh, back up. If I'm gonna send anybody in, I wanna send somebody in who has full health. Also, it won't be you. So you just kind of hang back, okay? 
You're done in this fight. You are not. How close can I get to this guy? Was that it? Huh. As far as I'm aware, there is no difference in strength between level 1 and level 2 spells. The level 2 spell simply has an AoE effect. Also, I totally want to sing a, a song about them bones, them bones, them dry bones. The way he's dancing. And it's totally a dancing sort of animation there. <sighs> I know I kind of want you to have some experience, Gong, but you're not going to get much experience if you're not going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. You can heal somebody, though. Who is not at full health? Well, there's always me. Heal me. Man, it is really hard for my healers to get levels. What about you, Gort? Do I want you in there? Maybe, maybe not. Who, who all are my options? Hans, you know what? New strategy. Everybody just hang tight, well, except you. You go ahead and heal me, because experience is nice. We'll get Hans in there. That skeleton seems to have no interest whatsoever of leaning, leaving his position. So, I can probably get Hans and Tao in there and attack from a distance and not have to worry about taking any damage. Meanwhile, I healed Gong, and Chris has leveled up. Yay. Wasn't a very good level up. Hang tight, Tao. I want to get Hans in there. Alright. You know, it is definitely interesting how the AI for so many of these enemies is set. If this was like Final Fantasy Tactics, every single character... Every single enemy would be making their way towards me. And I'd be so screwed. I should have played this as my first TRPG. This, 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 is, this is a game I can handle. I mean, yeah, I died once already. But it wasn't really that big a deal or something like that. I don't know where I was going with that. I wasn't paying good enough attention, maybe, is what I'm trying to say. The fact that I already have an AoE spell is good enough for me. I'll just worry about getting my weak characters in there to kind of do things. Maybe even Gong. Gong might die in one hit, but um, at the same time... This battle's almost over anyway. So yeah, this is basically how the rest of this battle is going to go. The only thing of interest is what Gong is going to do. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to have Hands finish this thing off. Because Tao's already got her AoE spell. I don't need another. Alright, Gong, punch a skeleton. And cause exactly the amount of damage that I expected you to cause. Alright, how much damage is that skeleton going to cause? Oh, don't know. Gong gets another hit. I am fine with this. Alright, let's see what this skeleton is made of. It's made of bone. Would have never guessed. Alright, what is the plan now? The plan is to have my healer... Oh, never mind. Well, first, Hans, attack. And assuming the bones don't get another attack before Gong has a chance to do anything, Gong can get the finishing blow against this thing. 
I totally expect the, the skeleton to get in its attack first. Oh, I was wrong. I am comfortably wrong. Alright. Either Gong is going to win, or Gong's going to miss and then die. Gong wins. Man. There wasn't a whole lot to this fight, was there? No, it cannot be! After all these centuries! Well, I suppose that's one way to live longer. Become a living skeleton. It's your own dang fault, by the way, for fighting us. Now you're deader than dead. Dragon, the Lorb... Mm, Lorb. The Orb of Light must be within that chest. Take it quickly. Okay. I'm gonna look around, though. Just in case grabbing the orb kicks me out. Alright, I've got a power ring, but can't carry it. Here we go again. Power ring. That means that it's another equipable ring, doesn't it? I already have the... Speed ring. Which, I'll be honest, I don't recall that actually helping me at all during this fight. What does the speed ring do again? Right, right. Increases agility. That wasn't entirely helpful, though. Let's uh, have it given to somebody who maybe would be able to make u more use of it. You. You would possibly be able to make more use of it. As for... This power ring... I know exactly who I am going to give that to. Or at least I did, up until I saw that the power ring comes with an attack boosting spell. So now I'm kind of wondering if I should give it to Gong. Because Gong can kind of fall back and kind of use that from time to time. I was going to give it to Hans, that way his archery, that is his long range attacks, could be particularly more powerful. So, let's see here. It's... Because Gong has not been that useful as a healer. So, since he... Well, no, not that. Hold on, let me try that again. Gong has not been that useful as an attacker. And while the power ring would make his attack stronger, it would also give him the opportunity to raise other characters' attacks. Since he does do a lot of hanging back. In fact, he could raise Hans's attack. Yeah, we'll give it to you. I'll worry about equipping my stuff in a bit. First, let's see what the other treasures are. Starting with this one. It's a wooden staff! Not entirely useful. Especially since we've already got more powerful staves. Specifically that staff. I, I see no reason to have that staff since I've already bought enough for everybody. So I'll sell it. And of course, the biggest reason, in fact the main reason, that I came here... The Orb of Light. Nope, we're not kicked out of the cave immediately. Alright. Oh, there was a treasure down here. Oh, and my inventory's full now. What's oh, a medical herb? Well, that ain't much. Huh. I didn't have to use a medical herb in this fight. It's kind of interesting. Alright, I think that's everything in this cave now. So, let's see here. What do I want to do at this point? Well, I don't get a cutscene. Should I save the cutscene for next time? I mean, I don't get a cutscene immediately upon leaving the cave. At the very least, let me say first. Hmm... You know, I don't think that I'm gonna be ending the episode right now. 
On account, this person's kind of standing in my way. Show the Orb of Light to Entrant. He'll know what you should do with it. So that's what I'll do then. Use the orb at the pool behind the secret door below. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have ourselves a cutscene before we end this up. Okie dokie then. Should I just use it then? Alright, let's use it. Ooh, it's this song. How long I have waited for this summons. Dragon, you are a hero without peer. Aw, oh, shucks. The legacy of the ancients is an evil being that has been sealed away for 1,000 years. Well, I'm glad you're telling us this because it would have been really stupid had we just been all, you know, we should totally open this here gate and get what's in there before the bad guys get in there. Because that's what most heroes would do. They would do something stupid like that. Dark Soul now searches for the key to unlock that seal. You must stop him. So is that it then? Three lines of dialogue and that's it, huh? Well, we can repeat the cutscene if we want. Watch it turn out that something happens as soon as I- Oops, didn't want to come back down here. As soon as I get back up there. You have no th anything new to say? The spirit of the pool spoke to you? Go tell Entrant all that was said. Can I say first? I would definitely appreciate the ability to save right now. Nope. The Orb of Light has chosen you, Dragon, to battle the evil that threatens Rune. You are truly the servants of the power of light, the Shining Force. Cross the sea from Rindo and go to the Eastern Continent. You must stop Kane. And now we can go ahead and save and quit. Now all so now all shall know you as the Shining Force. It's already under the impression that's that was what our name was. Considering every time somebody joined, they it said that they joined the Shining Force. All right. I wonder if anybody here is gonna have anything specifically new to say. Well, I'll figure that out next time. For the time being, down at the bottom of the screen is all of my patrons. And next time, we're going to go ahead and head back to Rindo, sell some of our excess stuff. Wonder if the circus is in town. That'd be neat if the circus was in town. Wonder what the circus would be for. Maybe we'll get a party me party member there. Kind of think of it, there is that armadillo guy back in Rendo, who is kind of wearing some mechanical armor. Wonder if he'll be joining our team in the near future. Again, don't tell me. I'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, I'm done for now. So, I will see you in the next one.